What's up, friends? It's me, the man, coming back at you from Walker's Music. Yet another word for the day. I mind you, it's about it's early morning too, about five, about five thirty. Uh, I'm up as usual. Well, what happened was, people that uh, I went to bed kind of early last night, and when I leave, when I go to bed early, I'm gonna get up early. It just I don't know. It's just like a pattern that I'm in. But if I get in the bed before one o'clock. I'm going to wake up at 5. I'm not going to lay down no more than 4 hours. I don't know why. That's the way I'm sort of like, I don't like condition myself. And sometimes I get a little bit more sleep. But most of the time, 4 hours, that's going to be it. And I'm going to get up. Even if I lie back down during the day. If I have to. If I get me another nap. That's a good thing about doing things for yourself sometimes. you got the liberty of uh, kind of handling your own schedule. Nevertheless, we give God the glory, we give Him the honor, and we give Him all the praise. We get to thank Him for life, health, and strength, for as well as it is. I didn't feel so well. Matter of fact, I had a choir rehearsal last night, and uh, when I got back, and uh, I really didn't feel so well. You know, I, I went on, a, I just kind of stretched out a little bit and watched a little TBN, and after that, I. Drifting on off to sleep. And so we want to give a big shout out to the YouTube family from Baby Justice all the way up to Big Papa JT. As well as Mama JT. Y'all know the routine. We love you and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Uh, we just want to, we want to come here this morning. We want to go and like I said people, you know, we have a lot of things going on in our world. A lot of people say God is sending us a lot of signs and everything. You know, and I believe that too. I believe that God is not through with us yet, and thank God He's not. You know, uh, we don't want God to ever get through with us. That's a dangerous thing for God to get through with us. I've been getting some comments and everything from various individuals, and you know, talking about the different stuff. And like I said, I don't get into no volleyball match with anybody concerning scripture. Uh, I just read scripture, and whatever I read, I if it's in here. I take it and I believe it. Even if I don't understand it, I can just about assure myself that it's it's right. That's where I've conditioned my conditioned myself over the year. I don't get into volleyball matches, arguing scriptures back and forth with nobody. Uh, but I just say that it's in if it's in here, I'm like Brother Dalt, Brother G. Dalt, there two twenty ten. Uh I will I agree with him one hundred percent. If you can show it to me in scripture then we can talk. If not, then I don't I don't I don't believe what you say. I just if you can't show it me in here. But at any rate, I was thinking about something last night, even though in the midst of what I'm saying I wasn't feeling I wasn't feeling so well, you know. I was sitting here and I, I was thinking about I said, Well you know, Jesus said by his stripe, we were healed. And then I got to wondering, I said, well, Lord, I said, now, well, that be the case. I said, why, why are some of us feeling sick and some of us not? And Holy Spirit said, we have not because we ask not. That's in the scripture. Jesus said, ask, seek, and knock. And if you, if you, if you noted that, ask, seek, and knock, still said ask, A-S-K, ask, seek, knock. And still, you put them together, even an acronym, it said ASK. And I thought about that as well. I wasn't, was that a coincidence? So you have not because you ask not. And then you don't have to because sometimes you ask amiss, meaning that you, you don't ask in according to the will of God. And people, sometimes, how can you ask things in the will of God if you don't know the will of God? Well, first of all, if you don't know the will of God, the way you find out the will of God is in His Word. <coughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, you find out the will of God in His Word. <coughs> uh oh, something, something got me there. Something trying to get me. We, we rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Uh, if you want to know His Word, His will. You got to go in his word. 
So now, that's the first thing we need to do. So now, with, with, with that being said, many men decided that he would go over here and he would start looking at some of the things that I had been hearing. Some of the things that I have read, even myself. But see, the word of God is, is alive and well, people. It's always new. It's always new. And it's alive and you always can get something out. Don't think that just because you have read something that you can't go back and read that very same thing and get something totally brand new out of it. Because God's word is alive. And I want to read, come from 3rd John, the letter, Epistle of John, the third letter, John. And I want to read a few verses here, and then we're going to move on. 3rd John, 1st chapter, 1st verse. The elder unto the well-beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth. In other words, beloved, I wish, here, here we go now, people, listen at this well. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper. Oh. For I rejoiced greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren and to strangers, which came, which have borne witness of thy charity before the church, whom if thou bring forward and are on their journey after a godly sort, thou shalt do well, because that for his name's sake thou went forth, taking nothing of the Gentile. We therefore ought to receive such, that we might be fellow shippers to the truth. Let's stop right there. We might ought to be fellowshippers to the truth. May God have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and more likely, and more, more so the doers of his holy word. Well, people, what is the will of God? Brother, beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper, excuse me, and be in health. Even as thy soul prosper. Thy soul prosper. Okay, people. Let's break it down now. I need him to last a little few minutes here. I don't want to make the video too long. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. Okay, let's start with the word prosper. What is prosper? Let us, let us define the word prosper. From where we get the word, the base word, that's the root word of prosperity. Prosper. All right. When you prosper, let's see. Let's. I mean, I'm not gonna go to no Webster, and we 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 don't have to go to Webster dictionary to figure that out, people. Cause common sense tell us that when you <clears throat> that when you prosper in an area, you do well in that area, whatever it might be, you do well in it. You prosper. Prosper means to excel over and beyond in that particular area, whatever it might be. So, John said, Beloved, I wish above everything that you may prosper and be in health. So, in other words, he said, First, I will wish that you prosper in whatever area. Matter of fact, what he's saying is, in every area of your life. Not only in your pocketbook, but in your in your status with mankind. In your and then it said, yeah. See, so you know it's got to be separate from health. The prosper the prosper part is separate from health. Because he wouldn't have said and be in health. So prosper let me know that, that this prosper this prosperity is another level. And it's another category besides health because he wouldn't have said and be in health. Now we know what health is, that wellness in your body. That's that's the that's the essential meaning of the word health. Wellness in your body. Then he said, even as the here come the third prosper, here come the third arena, even as what? Your soul prosper. Okay now. What did Jesus say? 
And I'm got to hurry up. We're at, we're at 10 minutes, people. Wow, it's going to get you long to do these things. What did Jesus say? Jesus said, For what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and yet lose his soul? Now, he didn't say get, get, get in gain with no problem, but he said, What profit is it if you get all of that and then lose your soul? What is what do we say the soul is, people? The soul is the suitcase, the mind. Your soul is those those body senses that we have. Some say you, you, we got we got five we got five senses. Some even say six, discerning the spirit, but that goes beyond what I'm talking about. We got hearing, seeing, we have taste, smell. Don't that don't we have that? Hearing, see, we got we see, we can smell, we can taste, and we can feel. That's that's the five senses which it says makes up our soul, which is our suitcase and our mind. That is the soul. Now, it's amazing Jesus didn't say the spirit, did it? He didn't say nothing about the spirits uh, losing your spirit. He said your soul. Letting me know, people, my consciousness, my mind, my thoughts, that is what will perish in the lake of fire. That part of man can be destroyed. The suitcase, the mind of man, your, 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 your sense of touch and, and seeing and hearing and smell, those senses that God gave us which makes up our soul is the one that we can lose. And he's saying, you don't want to lose that based on all this other stuff. But he didn't mean that you couldn't have that as well as that. People, and I'm going to cut this video off. I may, the Bible study is going to be talking about that. And I mean, it might be tonight. The Bible study may be tonight, according to how I feel. Let us remind ourselves, people, that John said, that this is the will of God now. That we may prosper, and that means in every area of our life, other than health. He said, then also in your health as well as your soul. So in other words, people, if I, from what I look at that, he said, even as thy soul prosper. So what that, what, what did a man get out of that? Now, if somebody else gets something out of it, I'd be glad to hear it. What I get out of that scripture is this. If I excel first in my soul, my mind, my thoughts are right and everything, if I get that right, the help will follow and the prosperity will follow. You got to first think right. And if as a man think it, so is it. So if I think help, I got help. And if I put my trust in the one that gave it on Calvary, by his stripes, we'll heal. I got to make that mind think that and make my mind believe by his stripes I will heal. Then I have that help. Then after that, I will get that prosperity. Now that's me the man take on. That's me the man take on. So with that being said, we just hoping and praying that uh, we will get the Bible study tonight, 9 o'clock. Uh, there's not but one thing that will make it not be at 9 o'clock and then make it be 10 o'clock. That is if I have to do something to help a friend of mine, I may have to do something to help him. And if I do, I will have to be delayed by an hour because it's going to take me about that long to help him do what I need to do. But it will be either at 9 or 10 o'clock tonight, the Bible study. Online Bible study. Walk through the world with the middle man. Looking forward to seeing you there. With that being said, Papa JT, take care. This is Middle Man saying peace. Goodbye.